Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator Lore video. So today what we're going to be working on is some textures for the next stage that we're going to be working on the crops. So like we need we need a couple extra mechanics, but we have sand uh, implemented already, but we do need some clay in order to make the next thing. So what I'm going to be end up doing is I'm going to be creating a, another palette for this particular color and well not another palette but like another set of colors for the palette and it's going to be on a little bit more of a bluey gray scale. Um, I'm going to need five colors and I'm just going to move them somewhere over here and then I'm going to create a new 16 by 16 texture and then we're going to start working with the actual clay first. So I'm going to end up designing the uh, general layout for the clay itself. So I'm just going to kind of draw some shapes on here, try to merge it on the edges as best as I can for the, um, the uh, what do you call it, the sides. And then we can use the 32 by 32 size to kind of make sure that it's seamless and stuff. Um, yeah, so basically right now I'm just adding a little bit of noise just to tiny bit to indicate some of the um to give it some texture and stuff having just shapes isn't really exactly what you want for texturing but you do want some noise and now i'm going to be adding some shading which is just enough to kind of give it some dimension now this might be a little bit too pixelated we're going to throw it into the 32 by 32 and see what it looks like so yeah it looks a little bit too pixelated at the moment so what i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and reduce some of the noise by just drawing a little bit more shapes on it so i was going to do it in here and then i'm like you know what i should probably just go ahead and um paste it in here and then we'll kind of blend in the textures a little bit more so i'm reducing the noise for the actual um lighter and darker part of it and I'm just kind of reducing some of the noise here and this should give it enough texture where it still looks minecrafty but still has some shading and stuff so yeah it's a lot better like this so this will be good um, we can move on to making the clay ball next I'm just going to save this as a clay block I know that there's already clay block but it's under our namespace so the next thing that I want to do is kind of given general shape for what our uh, clay ball will be looking like so it'll be kind of like this but I want it a little bit bigger so we're gonna just kind of outline it again and we'll get the same kind of shape just a little bit larger so I'm going to paste that in and then we can start adding some of the colors to it so we want to focus on the lighting on the uh, top uh, left corner and then we can kind of blend the textures in by using a little bit of noise just a little bit not too much because items are a lot bigger on scale than blocks so you will kind of notice the difference a lot more and I'm just trying to blend in these textures a little bit more where it's not as prominent for the two shades so that looks pretty good uh, we can add to the highlight color now I'm going to be using highlight on this side and the darkest for the outline for the other side. Uh, that would probably be the best approach. So basically just have the darker shade on the opposite corner uh, where there would be basically coloring and stuff like that. I'm also adding a little bit of shading in the actual texture as well. All right, so moving on, um, I wanted to add a couple extra textures uh, for um bricks and uh kind of large bricks i guess uh, not exactly the same as bricks but it, it's a larger f form like the stone bricks but a larger version of it and but specifically for bricks because we don't really want to call it stone bricks because it's not really stone and it's bricks so it's it needs to have its own name so i'm going to call it like large bricks but uh right now i'm just trying to figure out the color palette in the um actual uh, colors menu just trying to get the right colors to work with um, to kind of figure it out roughly and then we'll start integrating that into the um, actual texturing and stuff like that there was a little bit of issues um, for the 
actual problem for well not the actual problem but like there was a couple issues for the actual uh small bricks i ended up having to recreate it later on but um it turned out pretty good so right now i'm just kind of getting uh off sh offsetting the um the hue the lightness and the darkness or the shade and the saturation uh so less saturation and then i'm basically bringing it down to a certain point where it's um, a little bit more uh, less saturated and has more value to it. So basically, this is kind of where I want the color palette. I need to make it a little bit more blend in. And I'm trying to get it as close as possible to the other cream one right above. So I want to see if I can't merge some of these colors together to bridge them. And I'm going to use that middle one for that one because it's the closest one that I can get. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and start designing the actual bricks. So I'm going to grab the darkest one and I'm just going to start outlining roughly these. So this is basically what the texture looked like before. I ended up having to recreate it so it's a little bit different now. But... It, right now when I'm going in and out, I'm just kind of seeing what the texture looks like overall. And that's a good technique to actually do when you're uh, texturing so you can kind of see in wider perspective and the distance when you're actually going in and out. Um, it's easier when it's not sped up, obviously, but um, it does help with the uh, actual perspective and, you know, seeing if everything matches. So. I, I did create it uh, as close as possible to the original that I did, so um, that will be handy. Now, I'm basically creating the larger bricks. Now, the corner parts are kind of supposed to be like very similar to the other ones, just on a scaled up level. And um, right now, I'm just adding some lighting and I'm just kind of br brushing on the um, textures and stuff. I'm ad adding some noise to it and I'm just trying to blend in the textures as much as I can and then what we'll do is we'll pass it with a really lighter one and then we can kind of get uh, some textures and stuff like that so what I ended up doing was that the top one didn't turn out as good uh, for the top there um, it's pretty much uh, a little bit different but I ended up not saving properly with this one as well so I had to recreate it a little bit like I had the basic stuff, but it didn't turn out the same way, so I ended up having to fix that up. So after I did that, I basically imported into M Crater, and I just went into Tales of Biomes, which is the mod that I'm working on for this uh, series. And then I basically imported the textures into here. So we basically got that all set up. Again, I had to... Um, fix a couple things with the texture so um like the small bricks didn't i must have overwritten the save for the small bricks so i had to fix that up but uh it didn't take too much time to fix it up as close as possible it's easier to do when it just happened like the same day and stuff like that so um that helps a lot um, but outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.